Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy El Releasement coming at you with another WWE Supercar video. So guys, thank you guys so much for everything. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure to like, comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It tremendously helps me out to let you guys know you love Supercar. So in this video, I got a lot of I got a lot of packs and stuff, and uh, we got two extreme quests as well. So guys, this will be a pretty pretty cool video for you guys so guys let's just get into the action remember let's just let's just get into it and I'm, i'll talk about this scam in a few towards the end of the video all right later guys hmm well pretty much this is next one will be the last one i do will they finally bless me with just one elemental fusion maybe maybe tough all right, whatever. Last and final fusion activated. It's been a fun ride, boys. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, what will we get as our final fusion? Uh, we didn't get anything good at all from these fusions for the whole two weeks, so it's typical results for me anyways. Uh, you know, any elemental will be a single, but you know, hey, it'll be nice to get one of an image, you know? So uh, let's go ahead and see what we get. So we do have a pack. Who is it gonna be? Of course, we get an elemental carb and not the fusion. So we got Bobby Lashley as the as the fusion, and we get a free elemental carb, which is great. And it's Angelo Dawkins, which is a pro for me. I will take it. All right, not bad at all. I'll take it. Now we're gonna go ahead and claim Team Battleground Awards. I still don't have any elementals from TBG from my most recent memory. Win the sweeties. Uh, can we get an elemental? No, we cannot, but we do get Andrade F3 with that, so I'll take it. All right, not bad at all. Not bad. Okay, but just not great. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I waited a little longer than usual to do this. As you can see, I do have a lot of extra contracts, but I'm actually going to go cash in right now my last remaining Edge contract. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, Ed, why are you cashing in on that? You know, it's kind of useless, pointless, wait for the female, yada, yada, yada. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care about the female that much. Uh, there's better females out there. They're going to be better than the female regardless. There's F3 Beckys and all that stuff. Then there'll probably be an event that will be better than every female out there. So for me, the female is particularly useless. Especially with SummerSlam 20 tier, good belt tier. It's the final tier. No one really cares about the cards you get in that tier. It's all about progressing to Season 7. So I'm just going to get the F3 Edge to make it more powerful. And call it a day. So booyah, F3 Edge is accomplished. GG's. <laughs> all around now let's get into the wild wednesday stuff uh didn't really bother with a lot of it so we're just gonna go ahead and get our credits for that i can't claim the tickets as you can see i'm above it so gotta wait 21 minutes for that all right we actually get some decent train ups not the usual primal vanguard like everyone else gets support doesn't really matter to me if i get a duplicate support like lana or drake maverick that'd be great nope we get a fucking chair and the final finale card is two vanguards in a row rumble, just like everyone else. All right, great well Wednesday, great well Wednesday. Let's move on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally finished the extreme quest. Now this quest sucked major dick. Uh, it was really, really hard with the thumbtacks, uh, but thankfully it's over with. Let's get our freaking rewards now. The second one was a breeze. The 300 picks on the draft board was a breeze. We're gonna save the table because apparently it's gonna be a another. This we're, gonna, we're probably gonna need for the next quest. Thumbtacks were a pain just to get two primals. That's tough. And I'm I'm assuming we're gonna get a WrestleMania 36 card. Uh, I don't think we'll get the Royal Rumble one, but if we do, uh, hopefully it's like Alexa Bliss or something. Let's see what we get. Oh. All right, yeah, that definitely wasn't fucking worth it at all, man. I got the the whitest Braun Strowman I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit, is that just too colorful? That's tough. That's tough. Mm. Damn. Yeah. Mm. Fuck it. I'm, out. I'm done. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the next extreme request now. Now, this one felt way easier to pull thumbtacks than the previous one. I guess they uh, heard our feedback over these thumbtacks, and it was much more easier. I guess because Royal Rumble was also a thing. We have Royal Rumble going on as of right now. So again, it just felt so much easier to finish this quick this quest quicker, and uh, we're probably gonna get an, a, another Braun Strowman. <laughs> At this rate, so we're just gonna claim all these cards right now. Uh, Finn Balor, will, uh, pump it up will be the next support. I just got the elemental version, so we'll keep that. Uh, we'll get our 10 picks. We'll get our two primal train ups. Oh, I was almost, I was close, I was close. And will we get something better than a damn Braun Strowman like last time? Will we actually get an elemental? And no, like we are getting the worst rewards possible. Uh, you know, I'll take some Ojo, it's a nice image, but man, uh, for me, they don't want to give me anything, and you know, that's okay, it's okay. I will gladly accept nothing because at the end of the day, SummerSlam 20 tier is gonna suck, anyways. We just gotta get ready for season seven at this point. I am getting. I'm so ready for season seven, boys. I'm so ready for it. Anyways, terrible. Let's just move on. Now we do have a lot of rewards here, so let's just uh, get into. It. I got a PVP rewards, all that other stuff, and uh, I got a TVG reward as well. So let's open it. I got some giant stuff that I totally forgot about. So we'll open this up. Uh, Matt Riddle was trash. Okay, Primal. All right, general reward here. Wow. I did terrible this one. All right, great, great, great. That was great. <laughs> uh, let's do PVP next because it could be a good. Oh, it's the best pack, and uh, we get China Bianca, which helps me out. So people say, how does that help you out? Just Giants Unleash. Why is it? so? The next two PVP packs are just gonna be trash. So don't mind these two because they're just really trash. <laughs> Should probably start saving my PvP packs now to be honest because uh, there's no point of opening these anymore. Just save them for SummerSlam tier. Get our five slotos. PvP League. We are now over 100k uh, in league points, so I'm gonna have to spend something because it will not let me play PvP if I don't. So we're gonna open up our Champion League rewards now. And uh, we get Naomi, which helps me out, to be honest. And uh, we get Biggie. So, okay. Not the greatest rewards. Terrible. But, uh, hey, that's what happens. <laughs> let's just buy a PvP pack, because I have no choice. So, uh, let's do it right here, right now, for you guys. PvP pack 2000. And. The Mari Maraja. Let's go. <laughs> Got Jinder Mahal. And then uh, the female Royal Rumbles. Oh, Kevin Owens. All right, Jinder Mahal, baby. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, the good news is two ways to lose is leaving the store. Thank God. The fact that some of y'all even do this blows my mind. All right. It blows my mind that anyone even bothers to do this. It is such is the biggest waste of freaking money I've ever seen. The two ways to win is just fucking terrible. It just guy reflects me. People just have three cards with this like this mode because this mode is the worst. It costs you about fifty to sixty k credits to get just one freaking pro in this freaking two ways to fucking get screwed, and people still fucking do it. Whereas in Bounty Breaker, it could literally cost you 30 to 50k to get an F3 of a good card. I just wish people had better common sense when it came to things. And I, I gotta say, people are just doing it, you know, because they want to, because they can do it cheaper in any other way. But holy fuck, is this a waste of money. I don't know how people do it. I really don't. But I really hope two ways to win is not a permanent thing in this game because it is the worst of the bunch compared to like Bounty Breaker. It's just fucking terrible. Fuck two ways to win. 
super card you could take your mode and shove it all the way up your asses because that this mode is a scam and i don't know how people still play this mode i don't but yeah if you're ever considering two ways to win guys save your fucking money run with it because if you think spending 300 plus dollars for a pro that's gonna be irrelevant in two months is gonna help you Boy, you're mistaken. Save all that fucking money for event cards because it makes no fucking sense to go for this shit.